All right, MBTI Socionics debunking video. Let's start. Debunk, number one, all INFJs are not good people, okay? All, enough, all INFJs are not good people. <laughs> uh, I didn't think I had to say that. I thought that was common sense. Debunking number two, FE is not a people-pleasing function. If you are, if, if you are over your 20s, and you're still saying FE is a people pleasing function. Uh, I promise you, 100% promise you, FE users been manipulating you to do whatever they want so hard that you don't even notice it. <laughs> Seriously. I INTJs are more emotional than INFJs. INFJs just have a better... I know J's are better at making decisions with their feeling function the same way INTJs are better at making decisions with their thinking function. That's it. But beyond that, INTJs are more are more emotional than INFJs. All right. Just because you cry a lot doesn't mean you have FI in your first slot. Um, crying a lot or having a very having a very strong tendency to cry about everything means you have FI in your fourth slot, not your first slot. People with FI in their first slot are more able to contain their emotion because they have a better grasp of their emotion. So if you say you're an INFP and you cry a lot, that means you're not an INFP with FI dom. If you want to go to socionics and say, hey, I'm an INFP. If you cry a lot, if you cry a lot and say you're INFP, a.k.a. an INFJ, that means you're not an INFJ because INFJs have a grasp on feelings in general as a whole, okay? That means we felt every feeling before internalizing it. We internalize, we, eh, INFJs externalize all feelings and logically break it down within our core with our TI, okay? Cool. Don't get me wrong, I talk a lot of nonsense about sensors, but sensors are good, intuitives are good. No personality type is better than the other. It just one got strength in another section, one got strength in one section, one got strength in the other section. Okay, you you can't expect uh one person on the football field to play every position. <sighs> Come on. Just, uh... A lot, a lot of people perceive to say INFJs are the smartest. Intelligence is not a cognitive base, um, is is not cognitive based. But if we want to see who's usually the most intelligent out of most people, naturally intelligent, it will be anyone with NI and TI. So that will be INFJs, ISTPs, ENFJs, and ESTPs. The, the four types with TI and NI in the looping function are usually the smartest. Usually, naturally, just because you don't have NI and TI in your function, that does not mean you're smart. I'm talking about naturally smart, okay? What TE, what TE does is gather the collection of ideas from external sources, people, TV, everything, and check if, like, gather as much ideas from all source possible and see what feels right. Whether if they just say, Hey, this, I think this idea is better than that. Or if they actually try it out, all ideas until it's narrowed down T E and F I the T E and F I access use a process of elimination with ideas. Yes. T E and F I use process of elimination with ideas to get to the best conclusion and F E and T I find the collective emotionality the collective value of an idea and internalize it and see what actually makes sense out of everything just because just because the whole group like this one idea doesn't mean that one idea is best for the group okay Martin Luther Martin Luther King Mother Teresa and all them other people y'all be talking about are not INFJs bro <laughs> 
they're not INFJs. And that's okay. You don't need to be an INFJ to make change in the world. You don't. You just got to be yourself. That's it. All right, guys. Look, look. I know I talk nonsense about every talks nonsense about certain functions more than others. Yes, according to my cognitive function, I have biases towards other cognitive functions. Sure, it's fair to assess that, and there's proof saying that. That is completely fair, but I do believe all cognitive functions are perfect with its flaws and with with its uh, flawlessness and its flaws. All cognitive functions are perfect. Sincerely. I got I got jokes about TE and SI until the end of time, so <laughs> I got jokes about those two functions until the day I die, but you're beautiful, man. You're beautiful the way you are. And another debunking fact about MBTI, you don't need to be an intuitive type to be smart, to be cool, to be awesome, to be beautiful, to be whatever. Be yourself, find yourself, find your heart. It's not about being an INFJ. It's really not. It's really not about being an INFJ. It's not. And quite frankly, if some of y'all, if y'all was actually real INFJs, <sighs> y'all wouldn't be able to handle being an INFJ if y'all wanted to, quite frankly, but just be yourself, man. Be yourself. You are beautiful the way you are with your cognitive functions. I promise you, you don't need to be an INFJ to be beautiful. That's what I have for this debunking video. I'm not sure if this is my first or second one. No, no, I'm going to say this is number one. All right, stay blessed.